Hey there, everybody. Starting off the Thursday vlog, um, I must have a slow leak in the <laughs> back uh, passengers, rear passengers uh, uh, tire just because every month it seems like I'm filling it up just because the uh, indicator light comes on. Um, starting out this morning, uh, running off to um, a meeting here at 10 o'clock. I had created a, a little bit of a business plan when I uh, am going to be having this conversation with uh, uh, the VP and uh, his head uh, um, sales manager to be able to have uh, just a real fruitful conversation, emailed it over to him so that way he could review before um, our discussion. Also printed out a couple copies. Um, and then, so so where I'm coming from the context is how do you um, pair face-to-face -face and also social media and really driving that uh, home um, in um, in the automotive industry. And then after that, meeting up with a buddy of mine, networking. Um, so he and I will get together every uh, probably every three months or so and just get together and, and, and talk shop and uh, kind of update each other on where things are and see how we can be a resource to each other and um, so that'll be a fun conversation and then head home have a little bit of a one-on-one um, -on -one time with my wife uh, have like kind of probably a late lunch and then uh, we'll uh, have some family time tonight uh, taking the boys tomorrow to uh, what we call the Great Exchange meeting down in Schaumburg and uh, where my ex-wife comes up from Indianapolis area, and we'll, uh, um, she'll take the boys next uh, here for the summer as they have their last day of school. So, um, busy day, and so hopefully I can showcase to you some other things that we're doing uh, throughout the day. Shrimp's out. Never underestimate the power of a smile. So, when you're out and about, flash one of these. Make people feel good. Shrimp's out today and I was reminded um, he was mentioning that he wants to have employees that are gonna stay five years or longer and and I said to, to myself I didn't end up vocalizing this to him just because I didn't want to have uh, kind of a debate over it but for me that's just a it's, it's a strategy that doesn't make a lot of sense number one is it's hard to say where anyone's gonna be in five years and yes you might be the business owner and say that you're gonna be in business but again let's say in three years from now somebody gives you that at price number for you to buy out would you sell your business and move on to the next thing? The answer could be yes or it could be no. We just don't know that answer. And so it'd be more powerful to make sure that you have dynamic employees now versus trying to plan things five years from now. Focus on today and what's going to happen to your business. Hire those individuals who are dynamic today. And the reason why they'll stay five years is because the culture that you built, not because of who they are. Sherm's out.